During the first week of pregnancy, conception typically occurs. However, it's important to note that the calculation of pregnancy weeks is usually based on the first day of the woman's last menstrual period, LMP, rather than the actual conception date. At this early stage, the fertilized egg, known as a zygote, undergoes several key developments. 1. Fertilization. If sexual intercourse takes place near the time of ovulation, sperm cells travel through the woman's reproductive system to reach the egg in the fallopian tube. If one sperm successfully penetrates the egg, fertilization occurs. 2. Zygote formation. The sperm's genetic material combines with the egg's genetic material, resulting in the formation of a zygote. The zygote contains the full set of genetic information required to develop into a human being. 3. Cell division. After fertilization, the zygote begins to divide rapidly through a process called mitosis. It transforms into a cluster of cells known as a blastocyst. 4. Journey to the uterus. The blastocyst travels through the fallopian tube towards the uterus, aided by the movement of tiny hair-like structures called cilia lining the tubes. 5. Implantation. Towards the end of the first week, the blastocyst reaches the uterus. It attaches to the uterine lining and burrows into it through a process called implantation. Implantation allows the blastocyst to establish a connection with the mother's blood supply, essential for the exchange of nutrients and waste. During this very early stage, a woman may not experience any noticeable pregnancy symptoms. It typically takes a few more weeks for hormonal changes to occur, leading to the onset of common early pregnancy symptoms such as missed periods, breast tenderness, fatigue, and nausea. It's important to remember that every pregnancy is unique, and individual experiences may vary. If you suspect you may be pregnant, it is advisable to consult with a healthcare professional for appropriate guidance and support. Welcome to week 2 of your pregnancy journey. At this early stage, conception may occur, setting the foundation for the development of your baby. Let's take a closer look at what's happening. Around week 2, your ovaries prepare to release an egg in a process called ovulation. This egg then travels down the fallopian tube, awaiting fertilization by sperm. If sperm is present in the fallopian tube during this time, it can potentially fertilize the egg. The sperm can survive inside the female reproductive tract for several days, increasing the chances of conception. If fertilization occurs, the fertilized egg, known as a zygote, begins its journey towards the uterus. It undergoes rapid cell division and transformation during this process. By the end of week two, the zygote reaches the uterus and implants itself into the thick uterine lining. This is a crucial step for the establishment of pregnancy. It's important to note that at two weeks, the embryo is still in the very early stages of development and is not yet identifiable. It is extremely small, about the size of a pinhead. As for mom, during week two, she may not experience any noticeable physical changes. It's still too early to detect pregnancy symptoms or take a pregnancy test accurately. However, it's essential to continue practicing healthy habits and considering prenatal care. Congratulations on reaching week two of your pregnancy journey. Stay tuned for the exciting milestones and changes that lie ahead in the coming weeks. Welcome to week three of pregnancy. Your journey continues as your body prepares to nurture and support the new life growing inside you. By week three, the fertilized egg, now called an embryo, has successfully implanted itself into the rich lining of the uterus. This crucial step ensures that the embryo receives the necessary nutrients and oxygen for growth. One of the earliest developments in week three is the formation of the neural tube, which will eventually become the brain and spinal cord. This process sets the foundation for the baby's central nervous system. Another remarkable development during this time is the formation of the placenta. This vital organ connects the developing embryo to the uterine wall, allowing for the exchange of nutrients, oxygen, and waste products between you and your baby. The embryo's basic structures, including the heart, blood vessels, and primitive beginnings of the respiratory and digestive systems, start to form during week three. It's incredible to think about how quickly your baby is growing and developing. Surrounding and protecting the embryo is the amniotic sac, filled with amniotic fluid. 
This fluid provides cushioning and helps maintain a stable environment for your growing baby. By the end of week 3, the embryo is about the size of a pinhead, but its growth and development are in full swing. Congratulations on completing week 3 of your pregnancy. Stay tuned for the exciting milestones and changes that lie ahead. Welcome to week 4 of pregnancy. This is a crucial time for both the baby and the mother as significant changes are taking place. At week 4, your baby is still in the early stages of development. The embryo is approximately the size of a poppy seed, but already remarkable transformations are happening. The baby's basic structures are starting to form. The neural tube, which will eventually develop into the brain and spinal cord, is under construction. This marks a critical milestone in the baby's development. The baby's heart is also beginning to form and beat, although it may not be detected yet. It's astounding to think that this tiny organ is already working hard to pump blood and lay the foundation for the circulatory system. As for the placenta, it's rapidly developing to support the baby's growth. This remarkable organ will supply oxygen and nutrients to the growing embryo. Simultaneously, the umbilical cord is forming, connecting the baby to the placenta and acting as a lifeline for nourishment and waste removal. Surrounding the baby is the amniotic sac which is filling with amniotic fluid. This fluid serves as a cushion, protecting the baby from external pressure and allowing room for movement and development. Now let's talk about what's happening to the mother during week 4 of pregnancy. You may begin to experience some changes as your body adapts to support the growing baby. One common change is a missed period, as your menstrual cycle adjusts to accommodate pregnancy. Your breasts may become tender, swollen, or more sensitive due to hormonal changes. Fatigue is also common during this time. Your body is working hard to nurture the developing baby, so it's normal to feel more tired than usual. Make sure to get plenty of rest and listen to your body's needs. Increased urination may become noticeable as the pregnancy progresses. Hormonal changes and increased blood flow to the pelvic area can lead to more frequent trips to the bathroom. Hormonal fluctuations may contribute to mood swings. You may find yourself experiencing a mix of emotions, ranging from happiness and excitement to irritability or tearfulness. Some women develop a heightened sense of smell during pregnancy. Certain scents or odors may trigger nausea or discomfort, so be aware of how your body responds to different smells. Week 4 is an exciting time as your baby's growth and development progress rapidly. Take care of yourself. Listen to your body, and embrace the changes happening as you nurture the incredible life growing inside you. Welcome to week 5 of your pregnancy. By now, you've probably taken a pregnancy test and confirmed the exciting news. Congratulations! You may also be feeling some early pregnancy symptoms, such as morning sickness, exhaustion, bloating, and sore breasts. These are all signs that your hormone levels are increasing. At this stage, your baby might not look like much more than a tadpole, but they're already busy forming major organs like the heart, stomach, liver, and kidneys, as well as developing their digestive, circulatory, and nervous systems. In terms of size, your baby is about the size of an apple seed, measuring around 0.13 inches from crown to rump. It's incredible how quickly they're growing. You've officially entered your second month of pregnancy, even though it's counted as five weeks. You may be wondering about when you'll have your first ultrasound. Well, unless you have specific risk factors, it's usually scheduled around week 8 or 9, so you'll have to be a little patient. It's during this ultrasound that the doctor or technician will measure your baby and potentially adjust your due date based on their size. Speaking of size, you might be curious about when you'll be able to hear your baby's heartbeat. Typically, the heartbeat becomes detectable between 5 and a half weeks and 6 weeks, but not always. Many doctors prefer to wait until at least eight weeks to ensure a more accurate reading. Let's talk about the symptoms you might be experiencing at five weeks pregnant. Breast tenderness and sensitivity may increase further, and you might notice the veins in your breasts becoming more visible. You might also be dealing with morning sickness. However, don't let the name fool you. Nausea in early pregnancy can happen at any time of the day. Fatigue is another symptom you're likely to experience, and it's completely normal to feel the need to nap frequently. 
You may also experience heightened emotions and mood swings due to hormonal changes. You may also notice an increased urge to urinate. This is because your kidneys are expanding to accommodate the changes in your body. Some women might experience cramping, which can indicate the embryo's successful implantation or the stretching of the uterus. Some women might experience cramping, which can indicate the embryo's successful implantation or the stretching of the uterus. Spotting can be worrisome, but in most cases, it's a normal sign of implantation or the increased sensitivity of the cervix. However, if you experience heavy bleeding or have concerns, it's always best to reach out to your doctor. Remember that every pregnancy is different, and not everyone will experience the same symptoms. Some women may feel no symptoms at all, which is also perfectly fine and doesn't necessarily indicate any issues. At five weeks pregnant, your belly may not look any different yet, but you might feel bloated or like you've gained a pound. Don't worry too much about pregnancy weight gain at this stage. Doctors generally recommend gaining a few pounds during the first trimester, and that usually happens without much effort. When it comes to seeing your doctor, unless you have specific concerns, there's no rush to schedule an appointment just yet. Most prenatal visits start around week 8 or 9. However, it's a good idea to call and schedule your first visit and ultrasound so you can get an accurate confirmation of your pregnancy. Take care of yourself during this early stage. Avoid certain foods that pose safety concerns, cut back on caffeine, and if you smoke, quit right away as it can harm your baby. If you have any concerns or questions, don't hesitate to reach out to your healthcare provider. That's it for week 5 of your pregnancy. Remember to take care of yourself and enjoy this exciting time. Get plenty of rest, eat nutritious meals, and stay hydrated. Continue taking your prenatal vitamins as recommended by your healthcare provider to support your baby's development. Every pregnancy is unique, so consult with your healthcare provider for personalized care and answers to any questions or concerns you may have. Stay tuned for more updates on your pregnancy journey as your baby continues to grow and develop in the coming weeks. Wishing you a healthy and joyous pregnancy. Welcome to our pregnancy update for week 6. In this video, we'll explore the incredible developments happening with your baby and discuss the signs and symptoms you may be experiencing as a mother. Let's get started. At 6 weeks, your baby is about the size of a lentil or pea. Despite being tiny, a lot is happening inside their tiny body. This week marks a crucial period for their development. The major organ systems, including the heart, brain, and lungs, are beginning to form. It's truly fascinating. Now, let's talk about the signs and symptoms you may be experiencing as an expectant mother. Keep in mind that every pregnancy is unique, so don't worry if you're not experiencing all of these symptoms or if they vary in intensity. One. Morning sickness. Many women experience morning sickness, characterized by nausea and vomiting. It can be at its peak during this week, but remember, it can happen at any time of the day. 2. Breast changes. Hormonal changes may cause your breasts to feel tender, swollen, or even more sensitive than usual. It's a normal part of the pregnancy journey. 3. Fatigue. Your body is working hard to support the growing embryo which can leave you feeling more tired than usual. Make sure to listen to your body and rest when needed. 4. Mood swings. Hormonal fluctuations can lead to mood swings. You may find yourself feeling emotional or experiencing sudden changes in your mood. Remember to be gentle with yourself during this time. 5. Increased urination. You may notice that you're making more trips to the bathroom than before. The growing uterus puts pressure on your bladder causing you to urinate more frequently. It's important to schedule your first prenatal appointment if you haven't done so already. Your healthcare provider will monitor your health and the progress of your pregnancy. They may conduct various tests, such as blood work and an ultrasound, to ensure everything is on track. Now, let's dive deeper into your baby's development at six weeks. The embryo is starting to develop a more defined shape, with a distinct head and a small body. The heart is also forming and will soon begin to beat, although it may not be detectable yet. Inside the tiny head, the brain is rapidly growing and developing. Neural connections are forming, 
laying the foundation for your baby's future cognitive abilities. It's amazing how quickly their brain is developing. The lungs are also beginning to form, although they are not yet functional. They resemble tiny buds that will gradually develop into fully functioning organs over the coming weeks. Your baby's limb buds are starting to grow, and tiny little paddle-like hands and feet are beginning to form. It's incredible to think about the complexity that lies within these tiny structures. As you continue this journey, mark your calendar for the upcoming weeks and months. It's essential to stay informed about what to expect and take care of yourself and your growing baby. Consider signing up for pregnancy newsletters, following reputable sources online, or joining pregnancy support groups to connect with other expectant parents. Week 6 brings exciting developments for both you and your baby. Embrace this incredible journey, and remember to reach out to your healthcare provider if you have any concerns or questions. We'll be back soon with more updates for week 7 of your pregnancy. Welcome to week 7 of your pregnancy. In this video, we'll explore what you can expect during this exciting time. From your baby's development to the changes you may experience as an expectant mother. Let's dive in. At 7 weeks, your baby is about the size of a blueberry, measuring about 51 inches. It's amazing how quickly they're growing. This week, their facial features are starting to form, including tiny eyes, ears, and a button-like nose. Their brain is developing rapidly, and the arm and leg buds are becoming more defined. Soon, your little one will have tiny fingers and toes. As for you, the expectant mother, you may be experiencing new and ongoing symptoms. Let's take a look at what you might expect. 1. Morning sickness. Nausea and vomiting, commonly known as morning sickness, can continue or intensify during this time. Remember to eat small, frequent meals and stay hydrated to manage these symptoms. If you're struggling, consult your healthcare provider for potential remedies. 2. Fatigue. Your body is working hard to support the growing baby, which can leave you feeling tired. It's important to listen to your body and rest when needed. Don't hesitate to ask for help and delegate tasks if necessary. 3. Breast changes. Your breasts may continue to feel tender or sensitive as they prepare for breastfeeding. Make sure to wear a supportive bra and discuss any concerns with your healthcare provider. They can offer guidance on proper breast care and recommend comfortable maternity bras. 4. Frequent urination. The expanding uterus puts pressure on your bladder, leading to increased trips to the bathroom. It's important to stay hydrated, even though it may mean more bathroom breaks. Consider practicing Kegel exercises to strengthen your pelvic floor muscles and help with bladder control. 5. Mood swings. Hormonal changes can affect your emotions, leading to mood swings. It's normal to experience a range of feelings during pregnancy. Practice self-care, communicate your feelings with loved ones, and seek support if needed. Engaging in activities that bring you joy and relaxation can also help uplift your mood. 6. Food cravings and aversions. You may find yourself having specific food cravings or developing aversions to certain smells or tastes. These preferences can vary greatly from person to person. Listen to your body and choose nutritious options whenever possible. It's a good time to schedule your first prenatal appointment. This will be an extensive and educational visit. Your healthcare provider will monitor your health and the progress of your pregnancy. They may perform tests, such as blood work and ultrasounds, and discuss any concerns you may have. At this point you can usually see baby's heartbeat. This is a great opportunity to ask questions and gather information about your pregnancy journey. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle is essential during this time. Focus on eating a balanced diet, rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins. Stay physically active with exercises approved by your healthcare provider, such as prenatal yoga or walking. Don't forget to take your prenatal vitamins and stay hydrated. If you have any dietary concerns or restrictions, consult a healthcare professional for guidance. If you have any dietary concerns or restrictions, consult a healthcare professional for guidance. 7. Emotional well being. Pregnancy can bring about a range of emotions, including excitement, anxiety, and even moments of doubt. It's important to prioritize your emotional well-being. 
Seek support from your partner, family, friends, or healthcare professionals. Consider joining pregnancy support groups or attending childbirth education classes to connect with other expectant parents and gain valuable insights. As you continue your pregnancy journey, mark your calendar for upcoming milestones and appointments. Stay informed about what to expect and take time to celebrate each week of this incredible experience. You may want to document your pregnancy journey through journaling, photographs, or creating a memory box to cherish these precious moments. Week 7 brings exciting changes for both you and your baby. Embrace this journey, take care of yourself physically and emotionally, and enjoy the wonders of pregnancy. Remember, if you have any concerns or questions, don't hesitate to reach out to your healthcare provider. We'll see you next time for week 8 of your pregnancy. Welcome to week 8 of your pregnancy. You're two months pregnant this week, although doctors generally refer to pregnancy by weeks instead of months. In this video, we'll provide you with an update on what's happening with you and your baby during this exciting time. Let's dive in. At 8 weeks, your baby is undergoing incredible developments. Let's take a closer look. 1. Size and proportions. Your baby is now approximately the size of a raspberry or a grape, measuring around 0.6 inches in length. Although still tiny, their growth is remarkable. 2. Facial features. Your baby's facial features are becoming more distinct. Their eyes, which started as small depressions, are developing with pigmentation. The eyelids, nose and ears are also beginning to take shape. Sometime this week or next, you are likely to get your first look at baby during your 8-week ultrasound. 3. Limb Formation The limbs are progressing rapidly. Your baby's arm and leg buds are elongating, transforming from paddle-like structures into tiny arms, hands, legs, and feet. Baby's fingers and toes are now only slightly webbed and their tail, yes, there was one, is gone. 4. Organ Development Internal organ formation is well underway. The heart is beating and becoming more complex, with its four chambers forming. The lungs, stomach, and liver are also starting to develop. 5. Neural tube and brain. The neural tube, which will eventually become the brain and spinal cord, continues to form. This is a crucial step in the development of the central nervous system. 6. Blood cell formation. Your baby's circulatory system is developing, and blood cells are being produced. The tiny heart is pumping blood throughout the growing body. 7. Umbilical cord. The umbilical cord, your baby's lifeline, is growing and becoming more prominent. It connects your baby to the placenta, providing vital oxygen and nutrients. While your baby is flourishing, let's not forget about what's happening with you during week 8. 1. Morning sickness. You may still experience morning sickness, characterized by nausea and vomiting. Remember to stay hydrated and eat small, frequent meals to alleviate these symptoms. 2. Fatigue. Fatigue is common during pregnancy as your body works hard to support your growing baby. Be sure to prioritize rest and listen to your body's need for extra sleep. 3. Breast changes. Your breasts may continue to undergo changes, such as increased tenderness and enlargement, as they prepare for breastfeeding. 4. Increased urination. The growing uterus can put pressure on your bladder, leading to more frequent trips to the bathroom. Stay hydrated and be aware of your body's hydration needs. 5. Mood swings. Hormonal fluctuations can contribute to mood swings, making you feel more emotional and sensitive. Seek support from loved ones and practice self-care during this time. Other symptoms like heightened sense of smell, constipation, spotting, pregnancy cramps and weird dreams are totally normal throughout pregnancy. If you have any concerns, such as with spotting at 8 weeks, let your doctor know so they can rule out any problems. You will have pregnancy symptoms all through your pregnancy, however, those symptoms will change as your pregnancy progresses. For most individuals, nausea and fatigue will go away by the second semester. So take heart, things might change soon. As your pregnancy progresses, it's essential to continue regular prenatal care. You might have your first prenatal visit this week. On your ultrasound you might see baby moving quite a lot, though you just can't feel it yet. 
You'll likely have your blood drawn so your doctor can run some tests. It's crucial to know your blood type and whether it is RH positive or negative to avoid complications that may happen if you're negative and baby is positive. Hormone levels checks and other blood screening tests will be done. Giving a urine sample will become your new normal now, on almost every visit, to rule out UTI and check protein levels. Maintain a healthy lifestyle by eating a balanced diet, staying hydrated, and engaging in light exercise approved by your healthcare provider. Taking care of yourself is crucial for the well-being of both you and your baby. Week 8 marks a significant period of development for your baby. Embrace the changes happening within you and cherish the journey. We'll see you next time for week 9 of your pregnancy. Welcome to week 9 of your pregnancy. In this video, we'll provide you with an exciting update on what's happening with your baby and your body during this stage of your pregnancy. Let's get started. At 9 weeks, your baby is undergoing remarkable developments. Let's take a closer look. 1. Size and proportions. Your baby is now approximately the size of a cherry or a grape, measuring around 0.9 inches in length. They're growing at an astonishing rate. 2. Facial features. Your baby's facial features are becoming more defined. Their eyes, which were once far apart, are moving closer together. The nose, lips and ears continue to take shape making them look even more adorable three limb growth the limbs are growing longer and more proportionate your baby's tiny hands and feet are forming unique fingerprints and toe prints which will be one of a kind just like them four organ maturation the internal organs are maturing rapidly the heart already beating strongly is now dividing into its four chambers other vital organs, such as the liver, kidneys, and intestines, are developing and starting to function. 5. Skeletal development. Bones are beginning to form and harden. The arms and legs, previously paddle-like structures, are now more defined with elbows and knees. 6. Movement. Although you won't be able to feel it yet, your baby is starting to make tiny movements. They may wiggle, kick, or even do somersaults in the amniotic fluid. While your baby is growing and thriving, let's discuss what's happening with you during week 9. 1. Growing belly. Your uterus is expanding, and you may notice your belly starting to show. It's an exciting milestone, and you may want to start embracing maternity clothing for added comfort and style. 2. Breast changes. Your breasts may continue to undergo changes, becoming fuller, and more sensitive. Veins might be more visible as blood flow increases to support the growing baby. 3. Increased urination. The pressure on your bladder continues to increase as your uterus expands. This may lead to more frequent trips to the bathroom. Remember to stay hydrated throughout the day. 4. Hormonal changes. Hormonal fluctuations can affect your emotions, making you feel more emotional or moody. Be gentle with yourself and seek support from loved ones during this time. 5. Skin changes. Some women experience changes in their skin during pregnancy. You may notice pigmentation changes, such as darkening of the skin or the appearance of a linea nigra, a dark line running vertically on the abdomen. 6. Nasal congestion. Hormonal changes can cause swelling of the nasal passages, leading to nasal congestion or stuffiness. This is a common pregnancy symptom and can be managed with saline nasal sprays or using a humidifier. Regular prenatal care is crucial during your pregnancy journey. Be sure to schedule your upcoming prenatal appointments to monitor your health and the progress of your baby. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle is important for both you and your baby. Continue to eat a balanced diet, stay active with exercises approved by your healthcare provider, and prioritize self-care for your overall well-being. Week 9 marks an incredible period of growth and development for your baby. Embrace the changes happening within you and cherish this journey. We'll see you next time for week 10 of your pregnancy. Welcome to week 10 of your pregnancy. We've reached a significant milestone in your journey, and in this video, we'll provide you with an exciting update on what's happening with your baby and your body. Let's dive right in. At 10 weeks, your baby is rapidly progressing. Let's take a closer look at their remarkable developments. 1. Size and proportions. 
Your baby has grown to about the size of a strawberry, measuring approximately 1.2 inches in length. They are no longer a tiny seed but a fully formed little human. 2. Facial expressions. Your baby's facial muscles are developing, allowing them to make tiny facial expressions. They may even squint, frown, or smile, even though it's too early to feel their movements. 3. Limb movements. While still very tiny, your baby's limbs are moving more freely now. They can wiggle their arms and legs, which will become more pronounced as they grow. 4. Organ function. Your baby's organs are maturing, and some may even start functioning. For instance, the kidneys are producing urine, and the liver is producing bile. 5. Webbed fingers and toes. Although their fingers and toes are still webbed, they will gradually separate in the coming weeks to form distinct digits. 6. Swallowing and breathing practice. Your baby is practicing swallowing amniotic fluid, which helps in the development of their digestive system. They are also making breathing movements to prepare for life outside the womb. While your baby is growing and thriving, let's discuss what's happening with you during week 10. 1. Emerging bump. You may notice that your belly is starting to show, especially if this is not your first pregnancy. It's an exciting moment when you can begin to embrace your growing bump. 2. Reduced morning sickness. For some women, morning sickness may start to ease around this time. However, every pregnancy is different, and some mothers may still experience nausea and vomiting. 3. Heightened sense of smell. Your sense of smell might still be more sensitive than usual, and certain odors may trigger nausea or aversions. 4. Fatigue and energy fluctuations. Fatigue may continue to be present, but you may also experience bursts of energy. Remember to take rest breaks when needed. 5. Mood changes. Hormonal shifts can lead to mood swings, making you feel more emotional or teary at times. Lean on your support system for understanding and care. 6. Pregnancy glow. Some women experience a radiant glow during pregnancy due to increased blood flow and hormonal changes. Regular prenatal checkups are essential for monitoring your health and your baby's development. Make sure to attend all your scheduled appointments. A healthy lifestyle continues to be vital for both you and your baby. Eat nutritious meals, stay hydrated, engage in gentle exercises, and prioritize self-care. Week 10 marks a time of remarkable growth for your baby and exciting changes for you. Embrace the journey and cherish the moments ahead. Join us next time for week 11 of your pregnancy. Welcome to week 11 of your pregnancy. As we venture further into this beautiful journey, we have an exciting update on what's happening with your baby and your body. Let's dive in. At 11 weeks, your baby is growing rapidly. Let's explore the remarkable developments taking place. 1. Size and proportions. Your baby has reached the size of a lime, measuring about 1.6 inches in length. Their tiny body is now more proportional, with the head becoming less dominant. 2. Nervous system advancements. Your baby's nervous system is maturing, and they are gaining more control over their movements. They may even suck their thumb or make gentle kicks and punches. 3. Fingernails and toenails. Your baby's fingers and toes are now adorned with tiny fingernails and toenails. It's incredible how even the tiniest details are forming. 4. Digestive system. The digestive system is gearing up for future food processing. The intestines, though still developing, are now in their proper place inside the abdomen. 5. Protective vernix. A waxy substance called vernix caesosa is forming on your baby's skin. It protects their delicate skin from the amniotic fluid and aids in its development. 6. Sex organs development. Your baby's sex organs are now distinct, though it might be too early to determine their gender through ultrasound. While your baby is flourishing, let's discuss what's happening with you during week 11. 1. Baby bump growth. Your belly is visibly growing, and you may find your clothes getting snug. Embrace this beautiful transformation. 2. Alleviated morning sickness. For many women, morning sickness tends to ease by week 11. However, remember that each pregnancy is unique, 
and some may still experience it. 3. Increased energy. You might start feeling more energetic as the fatigue from the first trimester starts to lift. Enjoy this new found vitality. 4. Mood stability. Hormonal fluctuations may stabilize, leading to a more balanced mood. You might feel less emotionally overwhelmed. 5. Hair and nail changes. Some women notice changes in their hair and nails, with hair looking shinier and nails growing stronger. 6. Planning prenatal visits. Make sure to schedule upcoming prenatal appointments to monitor your health and your baby's progress. Prenatal care is essential for a healthy pregnancy. Keep up with your regular checkups and follow your healthcare provider's guidance. A healthy lifestyle continues to be crucial during pregnancy. Nourish yourself with nutritious foods, stay active with approved exercises, and prioritize self care. Welcome to week 12 of your pregnancy. As we step into this remarkable phase, we have an exciting update on what's happening with your baby and your body. Let's dive right in. At 12 weeks, your baby is growing and developing at an incredible pace. Let's explore the significant milestones they are reaching. 1. Size and appearance. Your baby has grown to about the size of a plum, measuring around 2.1 inches in length. Their features are becoming more defined, and they look more like a tiny human. The eyes, ears, and nose are in their proper places, and their tiny fingers and toes are fully formed. 2. Reflexes. Your baby is developing reflexes and may begin to make tiny movements. Though you may not feel it yet, they are moving their limbs and practicing their reflexive responses. If you have an ultrasound, you might catch them waving their tiny hand or kicking their little feet. 3. Vocal cords. The vocal cords are forming and your baby is even making small vocalizations, though it's too early to hear them. It's fascinating to think that your little one is already experimenting with their voice inside the womb. 4. Swallowing skills. Your baby is swallowing amniotic fluid and producing urine, which is an essential part of their growth and development. The swallowed amniotic fluid is processed by their digestive system, and their kidneys filter the waste to create urine. 6. Independent gender organs. If you have a prenatal ultrasound, your baby's gender organs may now be visible, and you can potentially find out their sex. However, keep in mind that the accuracy of gender identification can vary, and some healthcare providers may prefer to wait until a later ultrasound for confirmation. While your baby is flourishing, let's discuss what's happening with you during week 12. 1. Reduced nausea. For many women, Morning sickness tends to improve around this time. Enjoy the relief and embrace the second trimester. However, remember that every pregnancy is different, and some women may still experience occasional nausea. 2. Increased energy. You may experience a surge of energy as the early pregnancy fatigue starts to wane. It's a great time to tackle some of those pending tasks and enjoy feeling more invigorated. 3. Growing uterus. Your uterus is expanding to accommodate your growing baby, and you may notice a visible baby bump. Embrace this physical change, and consider shopping for some comfortable and stylish maternity clothing. 4. Mood stability. Hormonal changes may lead to a more stable mood, and you might feel more like yourself again. However, some emotional fluctuations are still normal during pregnancy, so be kind to yourself during this time. 5. Pregnancy glow. Some women notice a radiant glow on their skin due to increased blood flow and hormonal changes. Enjoy this beautiful glow and the compliments that come with it. 6. Prenatal checkups. Continue attending your prenatal appointments to monitor your health and the well-being of your baby. These regular checkups are essential for ensuring a healthy and smooth pregnancy journey. Regular prenatal care is vital to ensure a healthy pregnancy. Stay connected with your healthcare provider and discuss any concerns you may have. Don't hesitate to ask questions or seek guidance on any aspect of your pregnancy. Maintaining a healthy lifestyle is crucial during pregnancy. Nourish yourself with nutritious foods, stay active with approved exercises, and prioritize self-care. Remember to stay hydrated, get enough rest, and engage in activities that help you relax and de-stress.
Week 12 marks a moment of remarkable growth and development for your baby. Embrace this exciting phase and cherish every milestone. As you move forward, remember